Hello, my wonderful Sagittarius. I hope you all are doing amazing. Today, I'm going to be tapping into the energies of those of you that are currently not in communication with your person. So as per usual, I will be starting off with an oracle and we can just clarify those existing energies with tarot. Okay, for my Sagittarius, please. Okay, so the first card that we have for you guys is protection. So as far as this card goes, it does talk about a sense of home, right? So home is a feeling, not necessarily, no, not necessarily a place, but it could also be like a sense of security or comfort, okay? So maybe your person is deriving some sort of comfort from past memories, okay? Or it's letting you know that it's just an energy of missing. Missing when things felt very secure, missing when things felt certain right? Um, and missing your comfort, you know, and being in your company here is what I see. Now, for some of you, this separation here could have happened very abruptly and you're kind of confused or, you know, it kind of left you questioning many other aspects of the bond because you feel like this is someone you have a lot of history with. It's someone that you have been through a lot with, right? It's almost like it took a while for you guys to plant the seeds and have it grow. So it's like, okay, now that we're in separation, you're kind of taking a trip down the timeline of, you know, uh, your bond here and how things happened. And so the questions that are coming to your mind are, okay, well, why did things transpire the way that they did? Could maybe um, have things been, ha uh, could maybe, uh, you know, I ha have handled things differently. Why did that take me a while to, to say? Um, you know, so maybe, you know, whether it's a questioning of you handling things differently or your person handling things differently, but essentially what I see here, guys, is a lot of questioning as to why things transpired the way that they did. Because your first card is the most, you know, um, potent card here. So essentially what I see is a questioning of we had something so strong, you know, we were able to work well together, um, you know, and so why are we in this uh, separation right now? And why are we not doing anything to fix it? Maybe another question, right? Okay, let's see. Okay. Leadership. Okay, so this is the uh, mutual energy between the both of you. So you guys are going to know your situation better than I will. But as far as this card goes, it talks about maybe one person taking the lead in this bond and one person kind of following the lead. Now, this is fine until it gets to a point of the person who is taking the lead uh, wanting things to be a two-way street or wanting the other person to do something for the first time. So whether it's you taking the lead, whether it's your person, like I said, you're going to know your situation better than I will. But that's pretty much what this card talks about. Now, here's how I see it, Sagittarius. I feel that if you were the one to always fix things or you know, be the bigger person or take accountability for things that maybe you feel like wasn't your job to do so. It's this energy of you feeling like I no longer want to do that or why are you not able to meet me halfway, right? Um, just because I know how to take the lead doesn't mean that I always want to is essentially what I feel that you guys are feeling. Let's see. So maybe you feel like, you know, what's going on right now is your person is overcomplicating things or maybe things seem a lot more complicated in your mind or complex in your mind, but you feel that they can play out in a more simple way, right? So pretty much simplifying what's going on here and wanting maybe even your person to come out of an energy of sabotage or just being in their own way is a better way to say it, right? Now, here's what I see you know, even if there was a misunderstanding here, right? Maybe it was complicated, right? To understand, maybe there were hurt emotions and, you know, there, it was one-sided, but you still want to simplify it in a sense of you feel like that's the only way you'll receive some sort of change here or progress between the both of you, right? If it's this energy of both people overcomplicating things in their mind, you may, you may feel like you're not able to come to middle grounds or have a logical conversation that could potentially result in a solution here. Okay. So, you know, it could be your energy where, you know, as you're thinking about it now, you're like, okay, what is the best way to go about this? And even if there's so much that happened, because clearly this is someone you have a lot of history with, you're trying to get down to the bottom of it. Right. So in other words, you know, simplify what's going on. 
it could be that there's so many different things going on and there's so many different aspects to this bond that it's easy to uh, feel very feel that it's very difficult or feel that things are very com uh, complex. Okay. So protection, what's that about? reason why there's a waiting game right now or why there's this back and forth energy or push and pull right same thing different terms uh is because there is this energy of guardedness like as three of wands means you're waiting for something to happen you may be waiting for this person to reach out or they may be waiting for you to reach out but that's because you guys are guarding your heart it's a very unexpected energy attached to this spread um unexpected or unpredictable like i don't know what's next Kind of thing so maybe even if you guys are wanting to converse with this person you're not sure if that's the right thing to do right now and i think that the reason why you're not sure is because you're you're doubting the outcome you're doubting that things would actually change or this person has actually actually changed is essentially what i'm picking up on now for some of you um you could be wondering why this person is craving your presence or why they want to work on things now especially if a you have been out of uh, communication for some time with this person or b you feel like when things were happening there may have been an opportunity that was available to your person to fix things right then and there but you may have felt that your person was either being nonchalant or they were kind of like just watching things happen as they were happening so you know again going back to what i was saying your main question at hand is well then why do you care now or what it what is going to be different this time around right and because you have that question it could be very difficult to uh have that conversation because you're like okay are we going to have a conversation for it to result in the same thing such as the past or, or go back to square one or are we having a conversation so that we can actually progress and, and and create some sort of change here like, you know that there needs to be change, right? But maybe you're playing the waiting game with this person because we did touch on your next card, which talks about maybe things feeling one-sided or you feeling like you always have to take the lead. Right, guys? Okay, let's see. By the way, guys, do you guys, uh, you know, like prefer longer reads or do you like like the longer detailed ones or do you guys like more of like a shorter read? Just let me know in the comments if you guys don't mind, just out of curiosity. So we have the strength in reverse. Okay. So having a hard time holding back right now is what I see. It, it's the mutual energy. Like maybe there's like right now you guys are feeling the um, emotions more than ever. You could feel like you're on an emotional roller coaster. Something that feels very up and down, right? And so it's like maybe you get um, sudden urges to reach out to this person. How this person feels about you is that they have a weak spot for you. They, they feel like you know how to like tame the beast or you know how to... And maybe that wasn't the best way of, you know, explaining it, but that's pretty much what the strength card talks about. You know, someone having a weak spot for you or you being able to tame someone even on their worst days. Even if it's like someone who doesn't like to be vulnerable or open up about their emotions, they feel like you're the only one who can get that side of them, right? Or get them to reveal that side of them. Um, some of you, of course, could be involved with the Leo, but essentially how I see it here is, you know, both of you are thinking about the situation, but there's this energy of not wanting to hold back anymore or getting extremely tired of this waiting game where it's like like maybe sometimes when you think about it you're like oh, you know what i kind of just want to like reach out or i kind of just want to find a solution already right so even if you are playing this waiting game with this person there are days where you don't want to there are days where you're absolutely tired and you're like you know what can i just reach out like you know can we just talk about this can, can this just be over like this part of the bond this stage can we overcome this Right, guys? Okay, let's see. Sorry about that, guys. I do live beside the elevator, so I can't really avoid the noise that goes on.
Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups in reverse. So again, the main focus is either A, not being able to get a commitment off the ground, or B, having a commitment and, and also having it end in a very unexpected way that it left you feeling that there was unfinished business. You know, a lack of closure leading to questions like what if, or like why did things happen the way that they did? So pretty much what I was talking about in your first card, um, the protection card, okay? Now, for others of you, you could have had a family with this person or maybe you guys were in like a live-in situation, but I feel like there's this energy of, of uh, you know, a party feeling that they ruined some sort of family dynamic or home dynamic here, okay? So if you don't have children with this person or you guys did not birth a child together here, could be that this is something that you guys spoke about, okay? Um, so it could it just could also just be an energy of thinking about the plans that you guys made together. So maybe your person is um, realizing that the promises that they made, you know, most of them ended up to be empty promises versus promises that they actually followed through on. Okay, let's see. And, and I feel like if this is a message or a phone call or when if your person was to reach out, what they would tell you is, um, first of all, that they're tired of waiting or they're, they were um, like they would be reaching out because they're tired of waiting because we do have it clarifying the three of wands. So even if they don't directly tell it, tell you that that's what that's why they would be reaching out now. Again, this could be a small love offer that potentially grows into something larger. Could be someone letting you know that they still have emotions for you and they still have faith in this connection working out, but it's not really someone who has put their plan into action yet, right? The pages are the youngest in the deck here. Um, for some of you, like I mentioned, if you are in a family dynamic, maybe you have a child that's a water sign. Um, and of course, for some of you, it could be an age gap or a difference when it comes to expression. Maybe you feel like you express things open-heartedly, wholeheartedly, and you feel like your person has a little bit of a closed-off energy. Um, this could be imm immaturity pertaining to expression, like um, maybe some, someone who's not comfortable with being vulnerable, right? Someone who's not comfortable being completely open about their emotions, but you feel like this is something they need to work on in order for you guys to work together. Like if communication is a really big deal for you and expression of emotion and affection and that sort of thing, and you feel like your person's not meeting you halfway, of course there's going to be some sort of doubtful energy here or, or uh, questioning, I should say. Alrighty, strength, let's see. So we have the lovers here. I'm just going to flip it around, guys, because of the nudity. But essentially, there's a decision to make at hand. And here's what I will say. Both of you could be going through a period where it's like, okay, there's a lot that you know. There's a lot that you're aware of pertaining to emotions, pert pertaining to, you know, what you guys have, you know, achieved together, what you guys have birthed together. If it wasn't a child, maybe there was plans to, you know, like a business plan or a travel plan. Just essentially wanting to create together is what I see, okay? Now, those are the things that you guys are aware of. The things that are in the unknown is suppressed emotions. Maybe someone not admitting to dishonesty, someone waiting for an apology, right? So here's what I will say. With that lovers, it's almost like the reason why there's a failure to make a decision is because you feel like you don't know enough to make a firm decision. Think about it this way. If you're in a gray period or like a confused period about a situation and you're not able to see all aspects of it, how would you be so sure of your decision? Right. So whether it's, you know, your person's not making a decision, um, but you feel like you're not able to make a decision either because, you, you know, it could be a decision between do I want to invest time in this? Do I want to move forward or do I not? And then when you try to make that very uh, decision, when you reach that crossroads or maybe you're at that crossroads right now, um, you're feeling like, OK, well, I don't know, though, because I don't know the entire story or I don't I can't see things from all angles. Like some of you feel like in order to come to some sort of conclusion, there needs to be a conversation. There needs to be that back and forth communication in order for you guys to kind of grasp what's going on and then furthermore make a decision based off of that, okay? Some of you may be involved with a Gemini here. Um, it could also be that this decision is life altering, right? Um, your person could feel like 
they know they need to come to a conclusion here, but they feel like the changes that would come with choosing a path, whether they go with path A or path B, um, is going to bring massive change into their life. So it could be a fear of leaving a comfort zone um, or an in intimidation factor when it comes to, um, you know, kind of coping with something that they're not used to. Like it could be someone who's very attached to maybe an old way of thinking or an old way of being. Okay. Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay. So, you know, this person definitely wants to, um, you know, take a leap of faith towards you here. They, they're very, like, confused in a sense of they're not sure what the future holds, right? Um, they're not sure what the outcome will be, but it's a positive card because it seems that they want to take a leap of faith towards you, right? But here's what I will say. Because the fool in this deck is facing, you know, towards this way, it's almost like they're still focused on the past, though. Like, if they were to communicate with you, there are certain things that maybe they want to address because they don't want to sweep it under the rug. But some of you may not trust this person or you feel like there's some sort of unpredictable energy attached here. Um, in a sense of you don't know if things are going to change for good. You don't know if things are going to be different this time around. Um, you know, in the future outcome, if I'm being completely honest, with that Ten of Cups in reverse and the fool upright it's someone who is very upset about a failed commitment guys and they can uh want to speak to you about that but i don't think that they're sure about their next steps like they know they want to communicate with you they know they want to express their emotions they know they want to simplify what's going on in their mind but i'm not sure that they are very sure of what they will do moving forward so you know do what you will with that information sagittarius right like whether it's you know, you're okay with just having a conversation or some of you may only want to have a conversation if it's going to lead to your desired outcome. So in that case, maybe you don't want to have a, a pointless conversation, especially if you feel like it's not going to lead to um, a commitment or, you know, reversing that 10 of cups there, right? So my wonderful Sagittarius, I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.